Oh, hey, Spriggs are doing a test here. Hey, <laughs> am I live? I don't know if I'm live. I think I'm live. Anyway, welcome to Briggsard's basement. I'm down here in a far corner next to the furnace. I don't know why I'm here. Actually, I'm here because that's where the com computer is. Hey, Florian and RESM191. We are going to do a haul, which is not this. Hey, Lego freak. I got a package. We just got a package. And I got this box here. All right. But the only reason I'm doing this um, now is I'm testing this out. So I hope everybody can hear me. Uh, I'm about to get on another live stream. Actually, it's not a live stream. It's a, um, a Google Hangout, a private Google Hangout about live streaming. Yes, I know. So I wanted to make sure this works and that my um, audio would work and that I can see. Because I have in this computer, I have a brand new video card. I've burned up two video cards before. That's what happens when you make 4,000 videos. <laughs> so I'm doing pretty good. Just got home from work. Oh, look, we got Lego Vlad Studio and the Lego Historian is here. Christopher Fedji is here. Oyo Fan 4412. That's a very um, niche group there. Uh, <laughs> Nintendo Droid GN. That's a pretty cool name. All right, so... Um, I might do some Briggs R answer thingy questions. There's not a whole lot of new ones in there in the comment section, some about the monorail. And I do have a lot of good suggestions for a video that we want to do about some forgotten Lego YouTubers. And hey, Jawa, ja, no, Jaga Girls, Jaga Girls is here. And Elspan Dog. Oh, El, well, something like that. Elspank Dog. <laughs> so I got Lamar's Cutters. I have a box, and this is actually a specific fan request for an upcoming episode of Stranger Bricks. So I will show you what's in here. This is an incomplete set, so I will need to try to complete it or at least get everything I need to build the main models. I just went, I went, whoa. And then all of a sudden, my computer decides that it wants to do a Windows update. Don't you love Windows? It says, Oyo fan, ask if I can do more Oyo reviews. I usually do those over on Bricks Art Toys. I have been thinking about, you know, just doing anything brick related here, since the channel is called Bricks Art. It's not called Legos Art. Um, so the only, the only Oyo sets that I buy, though, are ones that are either dirt cheap or um, Atlanta Braves, Atlanta Hawks, Atlanta Falcons related. Those are the only ones I get. Wow. I think I just ripped my Ziploc bag. Oh, well. Hold on. And there we go. The glare. This is set 4101. It's these critters. So I got to see which critters we can build all at once. And we're going to um, do that for Stranger Bricks. That was a suggestion. Actually, <laughs> it wouldn't be right for me not to mention who suggested it. So in order to do that, I have to go look at the comment. I'm multitasking here. So, yeah. I'm t I got a terrible memory. That's, that's, that's what comes with old age. 4101. Who suggested that? Oh, yeah. It was Axel Van Dam. Axel Van Dam. That was who suggested that. The Wild Collection set. So we got an incomplete one here. It's got a lot of common elements. Hopefully it's got like these trans clear pieces that are on this little, was that a mosquito or a dragonfly or something? I don't know. So I'm going to have to do something with that later. Go put it in another box. Yeah. All right. So uh, where did my comments go? All right. Oh, we got Cohen Master Builder is here as well. And uh, hold on a minute. And who else do we have? We got Brother from Another Brick is here. All right. So this is from Lego Shop at Home. So I did a store haul 
and you got two free items, so there should be two free items in this. I forgot what I ordered. What do you think I ordered? I forgot. And so, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm about to do or get on a Google Hangout. It's not a live stream or a public event. It's actually with YouTube because, you know, my channel stinks and everything. Um, it's about live streaming. So I'm going to see what YouTube's suggestions are about live streaming. Um, it's going to be very interesting. They actually had part one yesterday, but I couldn't do it um, yesterday because I have a thing called a job that gets in the way. So I'm doing part two. <laughs> I, I figure I'm advanced enough. I can just skip right to part two. So what's in the box? Uh, that's a good guess, uh, Vlad. But I actually ordered this before. He had, he said that uh, Lego Ninjago movie. And that's a good guess. I would have ordered that, but it wasn't out yet on Lego Shop at Home when I went to place my order. And I went to Target. They don't even have it at Target right now for some reason. Um, but it was a good guess. Brothers from Another Brick, can you start doing more reviews? I used to watch your reviews all the time. Yes, I would like to do more reviews. Um, I would like people to watch them when I do them, though. <laughs> Maybe they don't watch them because they don't make them. i got to figure out how to do it in a way that it will be entertaining to you, the viewer. And uh, so, I'll probably, yeah, I probably should do more uh, LEGO reviews. Look, this is what I got. The Arkham Asylum, it was marked off 30, $30 cheaper than it used to be. So if you bought one set or you bought $100 worth, and this was over $100, you get two free items, which were the piggy bank and the snow globe thing. So I'll part this out. I'll probably... I got three of the four of these now, so uh, I want to build all three models. Maybe I should review them, right? Oh, there's more in here. And I went ahead uh, the uh, series 17. They're actually marked down now. They're like three dollars and nineteen cents. I got five of them. So these are I obviously I didn't fill the packs because they came from Lego Shop at Home. So I have no idea what I would get there. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it's a big box. All right, so let's see who's here. Brothers from the brother, brothers from another break like my reviews. I appreciate that, and I do. I, I I would like to do a video talking about kind of the how this change, this channel has evolved over the years. Because I got to be honest with you, and even recent v videos with reviews, some of them were pretty boring. Actually, most of them. And I, I'd like them to be more engaging. Um, I think I did best when it was something I was really excited about to show you. Maybe something from my childhood. Those are the ones I did the best. Nin okay. <laughs> Nintendo Droid GN asks, are you going to the MST3K live show in Atlanta? Do you know that I went, I waited till the tickets came available, and they sold out while we were trying to um, place our order? So we are not going to Atlanta. We are going the day before <laughs> in Nashville. So they got a show in Nashville, and the next day they're down here in Atlanta. So we're going to Nashville for the uh, MST3K live show. And I think, I guess there's a bigger fan base here in the metro. This is a bigger metro area, so I guess it sold out quicker. But, man, we, I was like, why can't I get my tickets? But we got tickets, so we are going. And oh yeah, <laughs> Yoda's got the uh, the face shirt. It's a little big on him, so I, I wanted to try it out. I knew it was going to be a little bit too big. He has to wear like an infant shirt. He's little, and I, and I, I thought about putting it on. Uh, so stupid. I mean, uh, not so stupid. Um, Ted Theodore Newton, but um, I didn't do it yet. I think it's too big for him as well. All right, let's see who is here. <laughs> What is the windmill in the background? Oh, wait a minute. I got to see what you're seeing. That is, that right there is the Festus windmill set 4999. And you see the Statue of Liberty 
There's actually a boxed set of it back there. I need to sell that. Um, it's a seal. There's a sealed box back there of this set, the uh, four nine 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 four nine 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 uh, Vestas windmill. Oh, I just closed off my comments. Hold on a second. Let me get back. There we go. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Brick Blues. You got to watch me live at least here. Thanks. So uh, there's been a lot of comments uh, in the Briggs R Answer thingy that people have been asking about monorail because we did the thing with 4D Bricks, and 4D Bricks makes uh, Lego monorail. Uh, basically, they got some custom items. So I'm thinking about buying some of the, uh, the cross tracks and a few of the other items with that. But usually the questions are, you know, where can you find it? And it's really hard. I know I've been looking on eBay. It's hard to find it uh, at a cheap price. Um, Dunkster Bricks found it real cheap in a store in Ireland. So <laughs> yeah, just look at the... Um, and I, I don't think Lego is going to bring it back. If, if if Lego would do a throwback series again, like they did in the early 2000s, where they were bringing back classics, uh, I think Monorail would be perfect for that. I wish they would do that. You know, they brought back Main Street. They brought back USS Constellation. They brought back the Metroliner. They brought back uh, uh, the Pizza uh, Pizza to Go. Uh, they uh, they brought back the Guarded Inn. All these classic sets, fan favorites, they brought back in the early 2000s and re-released them in black and white printed boxes. And I thought, they need to do that again. Um, I don't know that they will because the elements are different and they've shrunk the number of elements that they use now each year but i think that would be cool what do you think all right do you still have an open bricklink store yes i do i actually do we just had one of our biggest orders we um lord zyra placed a 2581 part order it wasn't 2581 dollars 2581 pieces and we just shipped that yesterday to japan uh, i actually did a live stream with on his channel talking about uh uh, how to run a BrickLink store. He's interviewed Clutch, Bricks on the Dollar, several times. Clutch is a more um, experienced, efficient seller. I'm more of a hobby seller, so we got like two different perspectives on selling, and it depends on where people fall. But I'm thinking I need to do a series of how to open a BrickLink store or how to know if you should open a BrickLink store, and I'm thinking about doing that. Um, and I, I've had a buyer just recently, and I didn't respond to their question. They bought from me. They had zero feedback, so they they not placed an order, or not re they may have placed an order and hadn't received the feedback yet. And they were wanting to start a store, but I think I guess I, don't, I haven't looked at the rules. Apparently, with BrickLink, you have to um, you have to have a certain amount of feedback before you can even open a store. I'm guessing. I think that's a good thing. I think. Uh, that's what I'm going to talk about if I do a series on BrickLink. Because the first thing you need to do is know how to buy on BrickLink. <sighs> All right, Brick Blue, is that uh, Lego posted a picture on Instagram about something coming that's bigger than the? Uh, it's like 4.6 times bigger than the box that the um, the London bus was in. So is that what this is? Is this going to be the UCS Falcon? Because I am so not hyped about. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah it's gonna be a 600 dollars set probably if it is where did you buy the classic lego t-shirt from the internet um you looked up uh on google i searched classic lego classic space t-shirt and somebody was selling them i think they're still there and occasionally i get an instagram ad uh for these types of shirts but i couldn't tell you who it was like one of those places like t fury or something uh, there's a lot. You can usually find people selling knockoff stuff like this. The yellow shirt is freaking out the garbanzo bean. Sorry, man. <laughs> so I, I will try to do that series uh, of uh, how to open a BrickLink store. I think it'd be a bit much to put all in one video, but I thought if I do like just some of the basics and maybe do some walkthroughs because. Um, we did we did a lot of videos talking about BrickLink. Clutch did a lot of tutorials on BrickLink, and I think the the fallback we had on that was we we actually taught kids how to open a BrickLink store, <laughs> which was bad because then we had all these kids opening BrickLink stores and you get all the problems that comes with underage sellers and buyers. So 
yeah, but I don't want that. To, I want to make sure that I make it clear that like the number one rule is you got to be an adult, at least 18 years old. Is the video quality better? I'm I'm actually filming on my uh, Logitech camera. It's, it's max at 720p. That's the best it can do. I haven't upgraded it. It's uh, about a three or four year old camera. But I'm thinking about upgrading my internet so I can do more live streams because number one, they're more fun because <laughs> you get to interact with people. Number two, if Google Hangout stays around, I can bring in other people uh, to be in these these with me, it's just like other people are already doing. And number three, uh, it's easier. Live streams are a lot easier than editing video. So it's good enough. Good. And I think it probably ends up being around 360 or 480p because of my internet. Clockriker is here. All right. I'm on a clock with Clockriker because um, he's he has... Um, been tagging a bunch of BDI. And for those that don't know, that's Brickzar Breaks It. He's been putting the timestamps on all my old crappy videos of where I, something fell or broke or I did something wrong. And I used the YouTube Creator Studio uh, to edit those. And somebody said that it's going away. So I need to get those edited soon because uh, I don't want to waste all the work that he's done in doing that. So I appreciate him doing that. It's. I didn't say it was 720p. I said it's the maxed out at 720p. It's probably more likely 360 or even even less. Uh, and it, it might go. You know, if I had a higher quality camera, it might process at that higher quality later. Uh, you know, after the YouTube does its little thing where it does the content ID, because that's usually when a video is first published, it will play at a lower quality. And then once YouTube is done making sure you didn't put any copyrighted material in there, then it goes to whatever you have. Thank you, Clockriker. He said he loves the BBI parts. I mean, you have found a bunch of them and some that I didn't use in other videos, too. So the brick clicker is here. <laughs> oh, man. Ethan Lee is here. You got a 4K camera, Lego Freak says. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right. So... Joey Jones is here. Hey, man. I didn't see you there in the chat. So thanks for uh, getting over here. Get around to doing some more vintage stuff. And Oz Dude Holland is here. And I hope I caught everybody that's here. I wasn't looking the whole time. Lego Man, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good. He brings out something, and I got something in my throat. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't have a cough button. Um, they need an updated version of the mini modulars. And if you don't know about that, the first five Lego modulars were made into mini modulars. And they're well, well past 10 now, but we haven't got a second series of that. So Lego needs to do that. I wish they would. Uh, we do like the mini modulars. They're on the shelf back there somewhere, the mini modulars. Modular. I always think of Mr. Krabs when you say a word like modular. Mr. 66 HD is here. Did I say that? I can't remember. All right. Let me get back down here. All right. So Shadow Subset 5501 is here as well. Jaga Girls asks, when is your daughter going to make more videos? I don't know that she will. Um, she had a couple of videos that she thought about publishing. Um, I don't think she'll get on camera anymore. And, you know, that's her thing and I, I you know personally I have to be really cautious I don't you know about putting too much personal information and in videos and respecting my own children's privacy I think a lot of parents might tend to force their kids to do videos and I don't want to do that and um, I ask her sometimes hey do you want to put that because she takes really good pictures she loves photography uh, she's more into taking still photos than she is to filming videos uh, she took some beautiful pictures when we went to Austria, and I told her, you know, you could just put a compilation of that together and just, you know, this the stuff that's not personal, the stuff that's like pictures of uh, sites or pictures of flowers or the mountains or things, you know, she could post stuff like that. I think she's more into doing things like that. Uh, you know how it is, um, like in the Lego community, you'll have kids that are really into Lego and making videos about Lego, and then they get 
13 or 14 and they just don't do it anymore. So she, she was interested in some things. She was, she thought about doing the, the, the vlogging, but it's just not her thing. She's very busy. She's got a full schedule. So I don't look for her to make too many new videos, maybe one here or there. So she, I don't think anything regular she'll be doing. And Clockriker asked that question about, do you think Lego will make more mini modulars one day? I'm hoping they do. I really don't understand why they haven't. And I, I, I mean, they do for Toys R Us, those little specials that Toys R Us does. Uh, the minis are, mini builds are very popular at uh, conventions. So I, I don't know why they haven't done that. Lego Freak says, I've been into Lego for years. Uh, Christopher says, I'm 13, but still into Lego. <laughs> Amtrak Guy says, I love your vintage Lego sets. Yeah, I'm. one of my goals is to get that vintage city going again. I'm, i I be honest, I've been focused on um, my train stuff. That's the, the whole table. It's just filled with uh, train stuff. There's Lego mix, mixed in with it, but um, I see it. I don't know if it, let me get to where I can see what y'all are seeing. I have to see what you're seeing. I try to look at the camera. If I have the uh, screen up, the viewfinder, I end up looking at myself. So I try to not have it up. So I look at you, but then I don't know what you're seeing. So the green table. All right. Uh, all those uh, minifigure cases, I got a whole bunch more of them. Uh, I'm going to put those in a hallway coming down here to the basement because uh, I got a wall that we finally painted and I'm going to find a way of mounting them on the wall where I can still open them, which means you can't stack them. Uh, or I could stack them. It's just a pain to get them out if they're mounted on the wall. But I want to get those out of the way. And I want to take this table, instead of it all being one level, I want to make it multi-levels, like Kramer's living room. I want, So I want, I want, instead of just having this big flat table and then I have these access holes, I want to make it more like a, a model railroad is where you have uh two foot or something that you can reach to the end uh maybe three base plates deep going around and on top of it have it three base plates deep have lights on the underside and so then you have two levels the bottom for storage and make it go around and then have islands that come in where i don't actually have to crawl under the table i have to i got three access holes and I have to crawl under the table to get to them, and I'm getting old. And it's kind of a pain to do that. But that's that's. So I got in order to do that, I got to take everything off the table. I got to take the tables apart, and then figure out how I'm going to stack them. And I'm not a good carpenter. I need I need a good carpenter to help me because I want to build them. Uh, I might have to watch some tutorials on model railroads because the principle that I'm talking about building my Lego city is the same that people build multi level railroads. In model railroads, sometimes they'll do them three levels. Uh, two is more common uh, because it, you, you need to have space to have for scenery in a model railroad. In Lego, you need space. But I thought things like the vintage stuff would work well on the lower level because a lot of the vintage buildings are smaller. There's not really any. You know, that's a good question. What's the tallest Lego set made before you know, 1988, <laughs> uh, they didn't make a lot of tall, it, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking, I, not a lot of tall Lego sets, so that would be the lower level, upper level would be more the modern thing, so that's my dreams in my head, it's just a matter of finding the time to do it, what do you think about that, that I think a multi-level uh, would be better, you know what I forgot, how did I get off on that tangent? <laughs> It's like, I'm so like, Amtrak guys, do you have the Lego Super Chief? Yes. One of my most popular videos, actually. Um, we have the complete set of the Santa Fe trains. And is that an NBA set on the table? Yes, it is. Behind Yoda. It's one of my favorite Legos. I need to do a top 10 lego set thing i don't know if that's in the top 10 but it's right up there because uh, you can play basketball with it and it's uh one of the lego sets sports thing sets where it's actually you it's fun to play i need to build the soccer one because i don't know uh, the soccer one might be a little easier i don't know i'm just thinking because you got to get the basketball and the little hoop and it's 
can be a challenge uh, doing that, but you can do it. We've done it. I mean, we've had visitors over. They've played the basketball with us. It's also one of my most popular videos. The this, uh, but not that set. The smaller version of this set is my one of my most popular videos. I, that's the uh, ultimate NBA arena. Uh, the other NBA set is uh, one that basically I did a video of. They might be bricks and myself playing. Uh, so pretty much, I'm the one in the family doing the videos. They might be bricks is still busy with school. My wife's busy with taking care and feeding all of us. So. Um, he still wants to do his 5,000 subscriber special. Uh, he, um, he, he wanted to do a video talking about um, the Georgia Cyclone closing at Six Legs Over Georgia, but he, he just doesn't know how he wants to say it. Um, he took a lot of pictures. We wrote it. I got some footage of him. I posted a video of some of the stuff I took. Uh, that I think it'd be more interesting hearing him talk about it because he's really excited about what they're, he thinks they're going to do there at Six Flags when they RMC it, as he says. I'm looking at the comments. I'm sorry. Briggs, are, are you ever going to do some Lego Blacktron sets? I would like to. I've only got a couple of the small ones. I would like to get some of the bigger ones. That's one of those themes that, as I got older, I started liking it, but I waited too long because it's really expensive to get the old sets. <laughs> Lego for Life Productions asks, how many sets do you own? I don't know. It's a lot. There's a lot under there. I know that was shaky, Cam. Oh, let me get this back. Sorry about that, taking you on the shaky ride. And that's just what you saw. That's not everything. Um, I don't even know what, did you see anything? I guess I, it probably was too dark for this camera. <laughs> but um, I'm, I need to sell a bunch of stuff. I got uh, uh, everything. I got this. All this under the table is stuff I need to sell. And I'm debating on whether selling just whole sets just to clear out space. Because uh, I'd rather part it out because it's a better return on investment. Plus, sometimes I, I can use the parts myself from sets that I part out. Does Rosie look like Lady? Does Rosie? I don't think so. I don't think she looks like Lady. That's not a Lego question. <laughs> Say so Clockriker says brick sets says that I own that he owns uh, 1,129 different Lego sets, and he's um, you know Clockriker for years was like the um, he had the most Lego set videos on YouTube for years, and because he started earlier than a lot of us, and um, I think I was the first one to pass him as far as number of videos about different sets. And then Brick Queen passed him. Jane Brick. Now Jane Bricks has the most. He, he he'll probably hit two thousand here before too long. Two thousand different videos about different Lego sets. Um. So yeah, that's Clock Riker. So he I, I was not does not surprise me that he has one thousand one hundred twenty nine different sets. I'm going to go on to a brick set right now. I haven't updated my list. And I was working on the inventory where we did those videos where we were showing you what's in the boxes. And I, got, I stopped at a certain point. I haven't touched those boxes, haven't taken anything out of them, but I also haven't entered those into my inventory. I got the, I have to go back and watch the video. <laughs> I have to go watch the, actually I did write that. I did write them down. I wrote them down. But um, I got to in, enter all that in. And what I, my plan was to systematically go through the basement until I've inventoried everything. So I got through box P or something. I don't know what it was. Uh, P23, something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to brick set. Um, I, haven't even, I haven't even logged into brick set in like months. I used to use brick set all the time. But... Um, once you, I got most of the old sets um, that I wanted. There's a few more that I'm looking for. But um, I didn't really have a need to go to Bricks. Oh, Lego house set revealed. 
They're making a Lego house set that has color now. See, I got the Lego house set that's all white. Now they're making one. I'm just looking at the front of brick set. Yeah. I guess I should look more often. If you're wondering, these people that post uh, uh, newly released videos, you know, people that post pictures of sets and they make the video, this you usually get them from brick set. Brickset will the good thing about Brickset is they will never post a picture too early. That means they won't post a picture before Lego says it's okay to show it. Um, so you know they abide by the Lego rules. Some of the people don't, and that's why they get copyright strikes. All right. According to Brickset, of what I have inventoried on Brickset, I have 1,828 sets and 2,000 2,684 minifigures, but that's not right i got way more minifigures than that and i'm pretty sure i have more sets a lot more sets than that probably a lot more <laughs> let's see the reviews let's look at i'm gonna look at the video reviews on brick set all right artifacts creation whoa he's up to 1169 he must have finally went and added all of his old videos because he wasn't nowhere last time i looked he was nowhere near that um Austrian Lego fan, 796. Brick Queen, 1,269. Um, Clock Riker, 832. You haven't done much, man. You were like 800 forever. Um, let's see. Where is Jane? Jane Bricks, 1,853. Wow. He'll be 2,000 in no time. Um, when you do about three videos a day, it's that's, that's how my, my number got up so high. Because I was doing three videos a day, um, at least, usually. Am I even still on here? Yeah, 1,535. And I haven't added anything in months. So that's pretty cool. There's so many with over 1,000 now. I'm sorry I'm ignoring the comments. I don't even know where they went. Here they are. All right. What's your brick link name? It's called Brickzar. Two words. There will be a link in the description of other videos. I haven't put the description in this video so it's not in this video right now i think i don't think it is i don't know i mean actually if i went to the video i it's called briggs are but there's link on my youtube homepage. uh if you can't uh, find it by typing that in beast gamer make trains that's what he says what was your first lego set m track guy asked that and that would be um Probably the tipper truck set 435. I'm really foggy on that, but I always think that's what it was. Uh, I may be actually wrong, but yeah, I can't. That's 40. 40. What year is this? It's 42 years ago or something. So, Joey Jones, you're looking at Brick Czar's inventory. <laughs> Joey Jones says Brick Set says you have 103. Um, Sets. And that's right. That that was going to be um, my official because what I was going to do is because what's happened is sometimes if you sell a set or you part it out or something and you don't remember to remove it, that can make your inventory incorrect. So I was working on that's what those videos were where I was videoing the boxes. I was going to enter all those in and that would be an official real number that was verified through video. And I stopped at 103, apparently. Uh, if you want to see my actual inventory, it's on Jabbo, which probably is what my YouTube channel name should have been. I should have not have used Brigzar. I should have just called it Jabbo. And y'all be calling me Jabbo right now. But that's my, that's my long, all my old accounts that go back even before 2000. That is usually the username I used. Yes, I did watch Brick Queen's video. That was by Brick Blues. Uh, her and Victor have quit, uh, so to speak, making Lego videos. They're doing more vlog-style videos. And um, it's all these people. They're, they're on this downward trend. Yeah, so um, they're just trying something different. Lego Freak says, why, do you, why did you pick Jabbo? Uh, I didn't pick it. My brother picked it. And that was when I was born. <laughs> that was what I was known as. Uh, Corbin Bailey says, do you watch Brick Vault? And no, I do not. Um, 
Do you always keep one set of the sets you part out on brick link? That's Mr. Brick Fan asked that. I s try to, uh, the exception there's sets that I don't have an interest in that I probably don't keep. Um, but for most sets I do. And you know what? I got to get ready for my live stream. I remember my uh, Google Hangout. So uh, before I forget about that, let me get set up for that. I really want to thank you. This is why live streams are, are so much fun. As you get to talk to these people. I'm sorry I missed you. Mtron not is here. But uh, I appreciate all the comments in there. A lot of people have some good things. And we are going to go. What is Yoda looking at? Mm. Something strange. All right. So we have guts to go. I want to thank everybody for coming here. And uh, hey, if I didn't get to your question, that means I'll just have to do another video later. See you guys, and um, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.